Hey guys, what is going on today? We got another new product here, courtesy of Turtle Wax and Ken Baker up there. So first off, let me say thank you very much, Ken. Thank you, Turtle Wax, for always sending me all these kind of products to try out here and test on my cars. Uh, what it is today, we're testing their new quick and easy Lux Leather con Cleaner and Conditioner. We're gonna be testing it here on my uh, the leather seats of my, of course, 370Z here. But uh, it's gonna be on the sides. The center is like an Alcantara or a, I forgot what it's like, a suede. So I'm gonna be doing it on the sides. And I'm gonna try and get a, uh, some of my white microfiber towels for this one because of the fact that the seats are black. So you're not gonna see it like, a, oh my God, it's so clean and whatever. So you're gonna have to basically take it for my word and I'm gonna try and show you what it looks like after it's been cleaned, obviously, because it's gonna pick up that dirt and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do my best, of course, to show you everything I can. That's what I'm known for. And if you guys have any questions, of course, you can always ask me. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be testing it out here. You will actually be able to see in here that uh, the insides here are on the sides are here leather, but the center here is the suede Alcantara or whatever. I don't know what the exact thing is. So we'll be just trying it on here and cleaning up the whole inside because it's probably been a couple months since I've actually cleaned this. So, and you know how I am. I like to clean and condition my uh, seats. And because this here, right here to here, no matter what kind of car you're on through here, always you see them cracking and everything like that. And I do not want that to happen. I keep my vehicles, as you guys know, for a very long time. Uh, I kind of collect cars a little bit. I just keep buying them and I won't sell them. So. There you go, guys. So let me go ahead and set this up. It is beastly hot today. We are in the well in the 90s. Yesterday was 100 degrees here in Central Florida, and it poured yesterday. And it's thundering again, so you're probably going to hear it. So we're going to be doing this inside the garage, just letting you know we're sitting here, guys. So next time you see it, we're going to be in there. We'll get it all prepped. So stand by, guys. Thank you very much for watching. All right, guys, here. Welcome back. I've got the camera positioned about as best as I'm going to get it right now. But you can see inside of the 370Z seats, you have leather here, uh, obviously right here in the middle. But here is like a suede Alcantara. And it runs the same on the door, so just giving you a good idea of how it looks. So, uh, like I said, I'm always worried about this right here because in most cars, as you guys well know, if you have been around a lot of leather cars in your life, they always tend to crack through here and then break apart, and then all the stuffing and stuff comes out. So, you know, that's what I'm really worried about right now. And of course, because I do keep my car so long, I want to make sure that they're well conditioned and they're going to last a long time. So, uh, one thing, the directions on this are pretty straightforward, pretty easy going. All you got to do is obviously shake it really well. You can actually, it says you can actually spray it directly on here or you can do it in the microfiber towel. I'll do it in the towel for you guys. And uh, then it says uh, get it in there good, uh, rub it in there good to get the conditioning lotion through it all. And then after that, just come back with another dry microfiber towel, so which I have already over there on the armrest. So, this is going to be a pretty easy uh, job today. Obviously, there's not much leather in a 370Z. And uh, my other two Hondas, of course, are cloth. And then my wife's car is an SUV, but it's already been taken care of by their uh, Magic Eraser set that they have. So it's good to go for right now. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, no more beating around the bush. We'll go ahead and uh, prime the pad a little bit. Prime this, uh, not the pad, but the microfiber towel. Can you hear the thunder, guys? You hear that, guys? It is going to be a very, very, very wet evening tonight. Again, I am home alone, so it's party time this weekend. And I'm just wanting to really take care of some stuff around the house. Now that I have a lot of time on my hands, you know what I mean? Because the wife's out of town. Look at this. Can you see this already through here? It's a light amount of dirt, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit it again. It's just, you know, it's just average everyday use. Your body oils and stuff like that get in here. And the thing is, you really can't see it on black seats and, uh, or a lot of other seats. You know, you just can't tell because it starts to, um, I guess, the, like, especially leather seats, if it's tan, it really just starts to blend in. You can't really tell anymore. But look at this already. Here, let me open it up so you can see it a little better. Can you see the other side now? As long as it wants to open up. See the area that is dirty and this is not. And remember, I just did this a couple months ago. This is literally just everyday use right here. So basically all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the rest of this seat up and then uh, come back here with a dry microfiber towel and uh, clean off any of the excess dirt and then uh, I'll show you the end results but and we'll talk about it. But it's going to be a little bit harder and that's why I'm always trying to show you the best I can with here because on a black leather it's not going to show up near as good. So guys I hope you like this so far. We're going to be finishing it up, cleaning it up and then uh, we'll do it all out and do some final results. So all right, guys, stand back here. Time for the final results of the Turtle Wax Quick and Easy Lux Leather Cleaner and Conditioner. Uh, I wanted to also say this is about 4 or $5 at Walmart. It's really not that expensive, so it should be a good, easy little pick-me-up here. I can tell you right now the seats were, in fact, dirty. I'm going to show it to you here in a second. So it did a really good job. Now, is it going to give any shiny effect to it or anything like that? No, it's just going to give a really clean look. No, There's no shine to it or anything like that. These seats aren't like a really supple thing, like a high-end luxury car. They're just typical leather seats in a car. 
So it's just gonna look, it just looks nice and clean again, I'll tell you that. And uh, you know what, obviously if it's gonna clean and condition, especially condition my seats to make it last longer so they won't have that cracking problem, I really love it. Oh, by the way, I just checked the thing. It's 94 degrees right now. Heat index is 104 degrees right now and I'm doing this out for you. I am burning up right now and you can hear the thunder in the background so it's going to be a nice hot day so what i'm about to do here is i'm going to bring it into you here i really wanted to show you the microfiber towel here and uh show you how bad it really is how dirty the car was let me see if i can get it in for you guys can you see this i don't know if it's going to really show it really good but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to flip it from one side to another so you can see it this is obviously the side that it was can you see it how dirty it is there this is clean right through here this is all clean can you see that and then this is dirty. Can you see this? See the difference now? So the dirt really did do a great job at pulling that dirt out of there. You really don't notice it on black leather, and I don't think a lot of people actually, I guess, pay attention, but their seats are, your seats get so dirty from your legs and seat legs and everything getting on it that uh, people just, you know, take care of your stuff. You're gonna be keeping these cars for a, lot of, a while, and these cars are very expensive when you think about it, so always take care of your cars. Well, anyways, guys, I really hope you liked the video. I'm gonna bring you in real close to give you one last look but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it that thumbs up button. Thank Ken and Turtle Wax for always sending this stuff to me. I really do appreciate that they take the time to look after us when, uh, you know, we, uh, we don't even have to ask for this stuff. And that's what I really wanted to say. Thank you for uh, Ken and uh, Turtle Wax. So I appreciate it, guys. So like I said, give them a shout out. Thank you very much. And let's go ahead and bring you in here and we'll wrap it up. So thank you very much for watching. All right, guys, here we are. Obviously, we're coming inside it right now. And you'll see right here, look at the sides, okay? It's not going to be shiny or anything like that. It's just a nice, clean look. And it feels really nice. I mean, we're not looking for a super thing. You see what I'm saying? Just a nice, clean look. And you can see it, this is the, one of the clean sides. And, oh, my God, this, this thing was filthy. So I know it did its job. Look at that nastiness. So I know it's done its job like it was supposed to do. Look at that. That's just disgusting. But uh, so I, so you know what? I can't fault it at all. It does have a bit of a chemical smell, like a, almost like an alcohol type smell, but I know it's probably not alcohol. I don't know what it is, but uh, that's about the only thing I can tell you about it. Other than that though, seems to work good. And uh, as long as it's doing its job, I uh, take taking care of my leather seats. I'll be super happy. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you did like it, like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys at the very next video. It's time to get out of this 104 degree heat. It is burning up today. All right, guys, later.